somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. <laughs> Over there's the Appleton Oak. This is Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, this is one that you have been requesting for a long time. We are checking out The Haunting of Hill House. Now, I really like these kind of uh, thriller, psychological uh, type shows, and I'm hoping this one holds up to what I'm expecting. You guys have all put it over and said it's great, so I am really excited. Folks, we got Chris Collinsworth, Al Michaels here. I'm just in the middle. <laughs> thanks, thanks for coming into our booth here. Honestly, I have no idea what to expect. A lot of you put it over very well, and people that I watch on YouTube have glowingly put this over, so I'm excited. No expectations, just want to be entertained. <clears throat> uh, I like scary movies. This one, uh, a little out of my wheelhouse, but uh, as we've talked about before, everybody on Patreon and YouTube is talking about how great the show is. And uh, you guys, as I've said before, are pretty much batting a thousand on recommendations for us. So I'm excited going into this one. That being said, let's go! Not sane, stood by itself against its hills, holding darkness within. Within, walls stood upright, bricks met neatly, floors were firm. Yes. Yeah. Silence lay steadily. There we go. And whatever walked there, a little bit. That's okay. Walked alone. Then. Mm. Then. You know, it was so dark in the beginning. I can't tell if this was like a mansion or a castle or what it was. That's okay. a mansion, all right. Go back to bed. Should I wake up mom and dad? I've got it. We got statues and everything. I get scared too sometimes. Why are you awake, Luke? Because Nellie's awake. Yeah, hard to sleep through that. <laughs> yeah. Screaming, yeah. Screaming. <laughs> oh, her again. Ooh. Your big brother must have scared her away. Big brothers are good like that. What if she's hiding? She's long gone. I guess everybody can go back to bed now. Screw that, man. Wait, wait. Th th She's this... talking like that? No way. You remember what we talked about before? He reminds me of Lance from Walking Dead. It's still. That's right. Just like a oh. cup of water. Yeah, it's not Josh Hamilton. How long do we have to live here, Daddy? Well, <laughs> your mother and I, we have to finish fixing this house, and then someone has to buy it. Then we can go. Yep, and then we can go. Just like the last house. Uh, the old house flippers. flippers. Yeah. Sleep, both of you. I love you, sweetie. They better hope they don't make it to 2020. Didn't go too well for house flippers. That is a massive home. Yeah, he knows something. Dancing in the red room. Oh. You're dreaming, Cheryl. Pandas aren't dreaming. Pandas, <laughs> Pandas don't eat macaroni. Look at how long that hallway is, dude. It is a massive home with incredible woodwork. Yeah, they about 15 foot ceilings. I'm waiting for it. Jump scare? Nah, not yet. <clears throat> yeah, I would be pretty shocked if they gave us a, a big jump scare this early. Do you think they're going to build it, like with doors and things like that, like we saw in The Conjuring? Imagine the cost of replacing a door like that in 2022. <laughs> How old are we? We're worried about the woodwork, the cost to heat the place, the electricity. The property tax has got to be insane. Oh, these shots are, they just get you. <sighs> Not quite a jump scare, but. Everyone alive? That's a, hey, is that Carla? I don't know. That's a small bet. Oops. It's too quiet. Yeah, I don't like it. They didn't even get their kids a nightlight? That shot, something's going to happen behind yeah, it. Yeah, come up over her shoulder. The way that shot is set up. Yep, moving in the background. You see the shadow? Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, there's the face. Get out of yep. here. Oh. Oh. oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, it is Carla. Nice. You know, sometimes with with just certain you know camera angles and things like you just, that, you the, can get the a, anticipation. You can get a feel that something's going to happen the way they set it up. Yeah. I watched the uh, the editor on uh, I can't remember the podcast name. It's video editing podcast. The editor was on there from uh, 
Nope. And uh, he was explaining, you know, the vision of Jordan Peele mixed in with the editing of what they want the audience to do in the moment of their set. Oh, mm-hmm. I see. Yup. And Carl was driving on Rural 86 during the storm. Do you remember that storm? It was a bad one. He was up in the boons when he lost control of the car. He went over a guardrail and went down a ravine. The car flipped over and you couldn't see it from the road, especially because of the rain. He was hanging there the whole time. Hours, upside down, tangled up in his seatbelt, right after the funeral itself. This was the night after the burial, you see. I could, I could see the water dripping off of his hair, and his face was a, a deep purple, like the blood had all just pooled into his cheeks. And then his mouth fell open, but it wasn't a scream. It was a car horn coming from his mouth so loud that I fell off the bed, screamed because I hit the floor and it startled me. And it was like I only just remembered, oh, right, I can scream. And I screamed all right and I ran and I tripped in the hallway and I looked back and he wasn't there. And then I laid there and I cried. And that was the last time I've slept in that room. What's weird is that she's telling a continuous story, but the timer on the phone doesn't seem to line up with how it's long she's been telling the story. story, Mrs. Walker. I'd like to look around your house. I'd like to set up some equipment. He's uh, I'd also rooms. like to sleep in that room tonight. In no. Nashville. No, he's in something else that I just watched. Can't promise I'll include your story in my book. Oh, of course. It's possible. It's going to try. And I thank house. you for sharing it with me. So I thought he was a psychiatrist at first, but he must be a paranormal investigator, maybe? Because he said he wanted to set up equipment. Huh. The <laughs> show. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I should have told you. I'm a fan. That's my favorite, the first one. Silence lay steadily against the wood and stone at Hill House, and whatever walked there, walked alone. Uh, so she's working him, and he's starting to realize it's a work. I hope tonight is a game changer for you. How so? Maybe my Carl will finally give you a story of your own. You were one of his favorite writers, so maybe that's the reason for all this. You know, I I can tell you one thing about Hill House that isn't in the book. You know what I never found? A reason. Oh, I see, like, You know who I wish would write a book? Oh, Neil. Yeah. Was it Neil or Nell? Nell. Nell, yeah, the sister. Oh, so they're older. (gasps) I totally She's missed all that until you guys said it. Your brother. I'd rather sleep here. She's a girl from. So in she's case been a lot. She comes back. So that's her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's right. been in just a lot. Mm-hmm. She's a great actress. Hey, will you grab her blanket? Yeah. Thanks. Taking a nap on the old fainting couch. I see the yeah. strategy here. Yep. Boy, she's I want to see that ghost. She's going to wake up pretty dang stiff sleeping on the floor. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, what? No, she was just hanging there until she was asleep. Well, that's not fair. Now if she wakes up, then the mom's not there. That's like double trauma. Oh, was she faking? It's happening. Oh, she's seen it the way that other woman saw, where she just couldn't scream, I bet. Yeah, right above her. Oh, we getting a reveal finally? Look at the hair. Yep, Screw it's going to be a hard pass. Ah, oh, still no face reveal, uh, though. Gosh. Not yet. It's Max. I think he's just a little, um, a little nervous about it. I'd say adamantly opposed. Sorry, excuse me. Hi, Max. I'm Shirley. <laughs> Here's funeral home. <laughs> funeral home. Okay. I was mm-hmm. like, what are they talking about? Oh, yeah. They were setting it up for the mom. Mommy keeps sitting on my bed at night, touching my hair. She just stares at me. <laughs> oh, I'm out. <laughs> her eyes must hurt. I'm gone. <laughs> Pass. Because she doesn't blink. It's even creepier when they don't blink. Yeah, but like it's your grandma though, so like it wouldn't be, it, it you wouldn't know, be as bad because it's relative. But yeah. still. I'm worried about Luke. Have you talked to him? Call me. Okay, so was that the sister that was? Yep. Panda's Sweet. macaroni. Yep. It's great. 
<laughs> Good recall. Panda macaroni. Well, <laughs> it was memorable. Yeah, hey, you know, I... Trigger. Yeah, he didn't even need to use a stud finder either. Look at that fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dudley found something for you. I don't know if this is going to work, young lady, and I'm going to need it back. Oh, well, skeleton key? Something. It's something. I, I think can't... that's what it was. What kind of staircase? Oh. Just the old spiral staircase in the library. <laughs> Holy, how many <laughs> floors up does this? That, okay, that's weird. There's still a door up against a wall and like a vertical. Sp open it. Sweet. Mr. Dudley says this is a master key, so it's supposed to open mm. any door in the house. Something was moving. I saw the shadow under the door. This door's been locked for years and years and years and years, so if there's a pony in there, it's dead. This one doesn't work either. Where's the freaking key? I don't say that word. <laughs> you say it. Let's get a pry bar. Pop the door on her. Let's go see if Daddy has any more keys. Daddy, we need more keys. It's an emergency. All that stained glass and stuff. Oh, see? Look. Yeah, yeah. Oh. See that? See the feet? He said it was about Luke. Well, then call Luke. I did. Straight to voicemail. Sold his phone for cash, or he's still in rehab, which means we stay out of it. Ooh, oh. that's good. Okay, so we got a little history there. Yeah. T? Sure. He's still there. Thank you. Yeah, he's going to spend the night. So he's going to spend the night there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Capture the supernatural. <laughs> he's setting up the camera, too. Duh. Believe in that word. Which side of the bed do you sleep on? I prefer preternatural, natural phenomena that we don't quite understand yet. So does it capture that? <laughs> Good question. Uh, no, no message. Just wanted to see if it was there. What was your name again? Thanks, Paige. Well, Stephen must be doing okay. He's driving around an S550 Merc. Talk to Shirley. I, I know you're worried about Luke, but I called his rehab center. He's fine. He actually got his 90 day chip today, if you can believe that. Ouch. Um, I'll be around tomorrow if you still need to chat. I hope you're well, Nelly. Okay, so they kind of... Very dysfunctional, attention. separated yeah. family. Yeah, they all kind of yeah. went their own ways. Hey, new character. can I get your number? <laughs> this is a new character, right? Hi. Theodora. I don't recall hearing a Theodora uh -uh. in the early... So there's the two daughters and the two boys and the parents, right? Yeah. So this has to be a friend of theirs? I mean, who are you? You live in a funeral home. What? Oh, she brought her to her house. You're for grad school. Uh, sociology. Ooh, good luck I with mean, that. I mean, the program's brutal, but I love Boston, man. It's such a great town. Uh -oh. What's that about? I'm just kind of a germaphobe. She's gonna, she's gonna delete her. I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, the boot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> early. I thought, <laughs> I thought she was putting on the gloves uh, to delete her. Word. <laughs> okay. Pull the John Ham. <laughs> was it something I said? No, we just did what we came here to do. Yeah. Okay then. Straightforward. <laughs> wow. Hi. So this is how that ties in. Now. Okay, uh, got it. Okay, so she lives in that house, but it's not the not the, another sister. Well, maybe we'll find out right here. She really is a germaphobe. She's still wearing the gloves. New friend? Is she coming back? No. I mean, she's sweet enough, but Theo. Kyle, is she? Theo. Theo. Yeah, Theodora. Yeah. You're worse than a guy. You're like a frat guy. <laughs> You said you could live here. I wasn't expecting the pussy parade. Mel <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> called me today. Uh, she sounded bad. Yeah, because it sucks to be Nell. Did she call you? No. She said it was about Luke. I don't know. Something about it scared me. Luke will show up when he needs money. Just keep thinking, what if he doesn't? Have we seen Nell yet? 
Or if he yeah. does, it'll be the last time I ever see him. That was the one that Found called him. earlier. Oh, God, I'm having a hard time following Andy the characters, Rick guys. I really am Facebook. having a real hard time here. Get your head in the game, Quinn. I'm trying. Well, I think it just throws us off that we saw the four kids in the beginning, the two sleeping, the sister talking about macaroni, and the oldest brother. Yeah, and like and that was it. Threw in. Yeah, now they're adults, and they all. And now who's this guy? Is that the? Yes. Is he sleep, he's sleeping like in the bed, 15 right? 15 minutes into the first episode, let them exceed. I know, some I know. Work. I know. I just, I, I hate when I don't understand characters and stuff. It drives me nuts. Who's this guy? <laughs> he wasn't on the poster. No. There's that same That's shot. That's that same camera shot. Oh, okay. It's just his significant other. What the hell? Uh, Maybe not. He doesn't look like there's supposed to be anybody there. Whoa! Yeah. 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 That'll do it. I'm not I'm not calling that a jump scare on us, by the way. <clears throat> that was a slow build. Okay, so he knows now. Daddy. Okay, so that's Are you the okay with the dad. Pins? How could I forget? Funny you mention that. I just saw her. She back. Yes. Dad, that was a really long pause. <laughs> She's back. Sassy. back. Now, where are you? I'm at home, in bed. I want you to go oh. to Stephen Lee. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to drive to Orlando and get a flight to LA. She's. Where is she? I love you, Daddy. Are you okay? It's fine. Uh, no. I'm sorry to wake you. Good night, Daddy. Uh, my daughter calls me like that on the phone. I'm there in like an hour. You watch. She's at the old house. Yep. She's she still is. there. Sure she enough. Is. Oh, are there not supposed to be lights on there? I don't know. We're talking lots of years. Yeah. From yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah, he's he's moving. He knows. Yep. Get up. Gotta get out of here right now. What? What the hell? Okay, so that's Steve. Oh, his hand. What yeah, the hell? All bandaged up. What's the point of being quiet if they know where you are? I assume they know where they are. Uh, the old ejecto cedo cuz <laughs> the old turning doorknob <clears throat> shot is it ironic that uh the doorknob is a face yeah. like that yeah that wasn't there has accident. to be meaning beh behind that oh it's moving so slow too like that's creepy mm -hmm. we're gonna run that's cool. Let's go. quiet all right things just picked up he's old enough to explain like what's going on Those damn creeks hit the WD-40. Yeah. <clears throat> it's going to be right there. I'm going to carry you. You keep your eyes closed no matter what you hear. Oh, uh, what? You promise? Do you promise? I promise. So that explains why he's never seen any. Yeah. Keep your eyes closed no matter what. You keep them closed. Okay, something definitely happened in the house that he doesn't want him to see. Are we gonna see it though? Eyes closed. Statue. Oh, <gasps> that's that chick. No, I think that was just a statue, wasn't it? No, that was something chasing him. Get back in the car. I saw Lava Gill in the window. She was in the window. <laughs> okay, so we got two kids. I think we got third client. That's all four Quine. kids. Okay, all four. Oh, they're saying, Where's mom? mom? Five kids. That's not mom. Yeah. That's not mom, as in it's a different person, or that's not mom anymore. Like, something got possessed. She got possessed or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't just get to call me and tell me what to do. Your closest and your sister needs you. Stay with her. You keep your eye on her. Don't let her out of your sight. I'll see you there. I'll meet you there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Things Living is... at home right now. 
Did he just say he's not living at home right now? I missed it. I, I, was, I, I think, was trying to watch the computer. Yeah, I think he said living at home now. Like he feels like he's back home, maybe. So that he was saying, Dad, I'm not. And he cut him off and he said, Go. And then he said, Living at home right now. Yeah. So is he saying he's not living at home? Oh, that could be like he's not close to his sister where his dad thinks he is. Oh. Oh, what that's Nell. What is she doing? She's dancing in the old house, which looks house. real run down. This must be a dream, maybe. This has got to be a dream. Vines growing all over the place. What the f What are we watching? I don't know. It looks like the, uh, the mansion from Resident Evil or something. Now where is she? <laughs> so many questions. It's <laughs> We're back at the uh, funeral home. Oh, with the 3 o'clock. That's dead time. Everybody knows that. That's no good. Oh, that's the... Uh, that's yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 so they're all experiencing. Yeah. <laughs> now he's in the red room. Oh, oh so there's all... the uh, rehab room. Yep, that's... Yep. Crooked neck lady. Simultaneously, yeah. so. Well, all different time so zones. Time zones, yeah. yep. I like how they did that, showing, everywhere, showing everyone's different. Yeah. So he's 1203. They were 303. So East Coast. Central yeah, Central. they're, they're <laughs> spread Coast. all over. Yeah, he's on the West Coast right now. Well, remember, they showed Theo and uh, the older sisters in, in Maine. Yep. Yeah. Boston. 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 Yeah. Okay, watch. I'm watching the monitors. Yeah, thermals. I think this is just going to be a pipe. I don't think it's going to be anything to Look, there's something on the right above his head showing up in the thermals. There's water. Yeah, definitely water coming through the ceiling. Here it comes. Just tired. Oh, oh, honking tires. the horn. <laughs> oh, which would make sense. The honk, It's a busy intersection or an uncontrolled intersection. A lot of horn honking going on. Leaky pipes with the water. There you go. Just didn't notice the water damage because of all the paneling. It was only drizzling last night, and I even got a few drips. Might want to get that looked at. Water damage is no joke. It happens all not. the time. She's like almost disappointed. Yeah, that it wasn't. That it wasn't. I saw him. When you push that stuff down, it comes out at night. You couldn't help it. When I said I've never seen a ghost, it's not exactly true. I've seen a lot of ghosts, just not the way you think. A memory, a daydream, a secret, grief, anger, guilt. But in my experience, most times they're just what we want to see. Why would I want to see my Carl like that? Because it's better than never seeing him again. Mm. I can see that. Most Ouch. times, the ghost is a wish. She is disappointed, though. Mm -hmm. She really was hoping that that he was going to have some sort of explanation for. Yeah. Well, because then Carl's not truly gone if he's, you know, a ghost. Right. Nell, Luke, Theo—they were just kids. The things they told you in confidence. It's clear that they were kids. You make mom sound fucking crazy. Oh, mom wasn't crazy. And the Dudleys and dad. This is the worst of the bullshit. Worse than the tabloids. Dad had every opportunity to set that straight. What? What am I supposed oh. to write? He said it was haunted. Those are his he words. Yeah, he just lost his wife. He hasn't said shit since. Oh, mom. Do you know how much money they're offering on the advance? Yep, we can holding, buy a house. Either. We can move Every to LA. Girlfriend. We could. I need to start a real life for my own family. Where are your family, Steve? Family. What you're doing to mom? Mom was mentally ill. It's a fact. I'll be damned if the apple didn't fall too far from. Whoa! Whoa! I'm. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm. I'm sorry. That wasn't. Uh... You sent me the book. Now you know what I think. You publish this. You know what it costs. You know. <sighs> so there's a lot of layers that they just slowly peel back. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. No one else can corroborate your story, Hugh. 
That's right. The judge hears you talk about packing five kids into your car at three in the morning. They're going to wonder why they aren't hearing from those kids. The media is already piling on. If we don't give them someone else to write about, it's going to be more and more of this. It's tabloids. <laughs> We're like leaning in. Yeah, like, trying to see it. <laughs> crazy. You're saying you want to keep the house your wife just died in? You have any idea how that looks? I want the gates and the doors kept locked at all times. And I want to know every day that it's empty. So there we go. That's why yeah, we see that's now why. in the how the house is now yep. falling apart. Except for the Dudleys. The Dudleys stay on. That doesn't make any sense. The Dudleys stay on and it sits there and rots. Wouldn't you just burn it to the ground if that was the case instead of letting it rot? If you lose? I won't. If you do though, do we really have to go live with that Janet? <sighs> just go so yeah. It makes sense now. He was West Coast yeah. while they're over in Maine and Boston. Yeah. <clears throat> Something up with Nell. She may show up at the house today. At my house? The house, yeah. Why? The house, my, dad my told house? Us to. I didn't get a chance to tell him. It's... But I'm sorry. You can just point at him. Oh, oh they they're not split up. Anymore. He's yeah. still wearing the ring. Yeah. Maybe I can come by and we can talk about this some more. You know what you'd have to say? You tell me. Is there any point? Oh, oh, yeah, they're done. Oh, oh yeah, but it seems conditional. Like, she wants something from him. Maybe she wants him to stop writing or something. Something. What are you Janet? doing? Arranging the china and some of the flatware. Sons of anarchy. No one would live nearer than town. No one will come any nearer than that. They lived all alone in the night, in the dark. Well, they didn't seem to be too scared. <laughs> My dad found a bunch of stuff in the parlor. Tarot cards and Ouija boards and all that. Oh, boy. Parlor games. People use them to scare themselves. This is the problem with schools these days. <laughs> they teach you the secular world, smother you in science, and science isn't an exact science. Walter White would beg to differ. <laughs> we need his light in the night, in the dark. Do you know the Gospels, young man? He does. I, I just came here for some cereal. Ugh. Yeah, the old housekeeper getting involved. Uh... He's also familiar with the Talmud, the Tao Te Ching, the Torah, the Quran, Greek mythology. And he reads a lot of Carl Sagan, Shakespeare. <sighs> Why is that, honey? Because there are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Very good, ma'am. A little bit of conflict there between mom and the housekeeper. Mom's looking for you. Trying. It's a heck of a treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's like state of the art treehouse. <laughs> You know, the one Dad built for you? I don't want to go in yet. I don't like it inside. No rush, my man. What you making? A new sign. It's a giant tree house. <laughs> it's like 20 by 20. I already got those. Gee, I told you last time that's a bad idea. Uh, what's he drawing? What happened to your other sign? He all ripped it. I'll bet. Is that the, uh... I... Looked like something like that, like the lady. Who's this? Some girl I saw by the woods. What's next? Oh. Uh-oh. So he's drawing everything he sees. Mm. That's not creepy at all. I used to have imaginary friends, too. They go away when you get bigger. S. She's not imaginary. Okay. No girls. <laughs> this one. It's not allowed. I'll tell her. Okay, so Theo's been around, like they said, around. For a while with the kids. Yes, TV and Luke. Cool kids. Where do you get Ooh. the ideas for these drawings? It's a good question. That's a big mouth on that one. Not creepy at all. Hey, I didn't miss it this time, guys. <laughs> LA. <laughs> good call. <laughs> what year is this from? 2018, I think. We'll see again when we do the main screen. <laughs> he reversed it. <laughs> hey, Luke. Oh, oh we got no. Out. Yeah. Uh, this isn't what it looks like. Hmm. What? Are you cold? It's, it's L.A. and he's wearing a jacket and he's in a polo. I don't think it's cold out. 200 bucks here. You hand me that iPad, you can keep the cash and sell that old camera. I need the iPad. Oh, is he oh, stealing, stealing his brother's brother. stuff? 
Yeah. Okay, so it helps yeah. enhance his story. It helps enhance the story oh, a little bit more. No. Yeah. Oh, dude, his brother broke into his place to steal his stuff. Yep. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I know. Oh, I'm an idiot. He's selling it to drug money. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> you know, it really isn't what you think. Good. Yeah. I've come a long way from the treehouse. Yeah. Oh. Early prediction. I think we uh, don't see a very good ending for Luke. Jeez. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> creepy. <laughs> no. I needed a good scare. At least sent you here. I need some furniture. Got a giant empty place. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Well, him and the wife split up, so. Did you tell Luke where I live? Did you bring him here? You just stood there and watched him loot me? This is really messed up. This doesn't make any sense. Got us all listening. What do you want? What's so damn important now? Shit. I didn't give him the address. Hey, I tried to tell you we're... Dad? I can't hear you. I know. I just walked in and she's... Uh... Shocking. What? What? Jesus. That got me. Oh, look at her eyes. Girl. Yeah, she deleted herself in the house, I bet. Oh, we're going to see the big mouth. Whoa. Well, he can't say he's never seen a, ghost. seen a ghost anymore. Well, he did say he was lying. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, oh, that's, oh, what a finish. That's a good ender right there. What a finish. All right, there was episode one of The Haunting of Hill House. And, you know, just off the bat, guys, you'll have to excuse me. I'm usually better at sorting who characters are and who's who. Um, I had a little bit of difficulty with it because we saw them as kids and all of a sudden they were grown up and you know they tried to drop the names in there and I was trying to follow along. All that notwithstanding of me trying to keep characters straight. This was a lot of fun. I really like how this feels like it's going to be um, a nice long drawn out of one story. See, I didn't know. I thought coming in, I didn't know if these were going to be all different stories of like one hour episodes being individual. I didn't, you know, like a black mirror type thing, but I'm really uh, pleasantly surprised that it's going to be one continuous story of this family, how they dealt with this house that they were in. They were all obviously deeply affected. They, they're kind of scattered throughout the country, living their own lives. Again, you know, they all seem to have their issues one way or the other. So this seems really interesting. Uh, that was a tough scene to see with the brother breaking into his own brother's house to, uh, to steal things from him to sell to what we assume would be to get drugs or alcohol of some kind. And especially when they showed him just in the tree house before and how they were getting along. I mean, obviously done on purpose, but really a, a hard thing to see. And we're really going to dive in more to the story here of, uh, the, uh, Steve, I believe the author about why he's writing what he did, because we saw earlier, he was like flat broke, right? Trying to start a life for his family. And then we see him later. He's driving the Mercedes has some money, but it obviously cost him, uh, his marriage and his wife. So it'll be interesting to see where that goes. Um, as far as the other the other characters, I just want to watch, learn more about them, and see how they're developed. But so far, I'm super intrigued, and I can't wait to see more. Yeah, you y'all are probably gonna have to excuse me a little bit. I was scatterbrained, uh, especially on the the brother moment there, because I'm trying to piece things in my head as things are going. Uh, but of course, it made sense after I stopped my brain, and then that's when Oak had to be like drugs. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, pardon me there a little bit, folks over the head but uh i'll just keep my certain review here uh to the the layers right now i'm really intrigued about the layers because mm. this is i think 10 episodes so of course they're still going to be giving us more story i know <laughs> these two are just give me story now <laughs> who where is <they're>, that <laughs> where they're still at least this episode they're laying the foundation yeah. so i was more intrigued about the layers that they kept doing the bounce mm -hmm. backs yeah. so i'm really looking forward to seeing what happens because they told us uh uh uh, Nell is 
Gonzo. Yeah. Right away in the first episode. So I thought that was unique there at the end to tell us that jump scare did, scare did get me a little bit. The mom, we found out something happened to her. We just don't know how. Yeah. So, self self deletion. Somehow. Yeah. Those, those are the things that I'm clinging to right now. Um, as far as the characters go, looking forward to deep diving in as the episodes go. I assume they're going to give us more yeah. on the characters. So for now, I'm just really intrigued by the layers. Yeah, this was a really interesting story. And they had, when you bring up layers, there was a lot of, ah, ah, oh, mm -hmm. moments of, of connecting stuff. Um, so I thought it was, it was really cool the way they did it, where they kept going back and forth to um, the time that, you know, kind of the story originated to modern times. And even in modern times, they went back and forth a little bit. We saw the present time. We saw when uh, the brother was initially having arguments with the sister about mm -hmm. the the content of the book coming out and how it was going to paint their family in a bad light. So uh, I think they're doing a really good job with this so far and really drawing you in. And I think in mine and Mason Quinn's defense, <laughs> I think this is like, it has to be the goal, right? For people to be like, well, what's going on with this? Yeah, what's going on with this? Know. Like, the, the girl from the club that's living in the funeral parlor, Theo. she's Theo. I, I don't understand. Theodora. Theodora. Um, I'm not sure what her involvement is yet. Mm -hmm. I well, thought they gave they her... They friend, friends from back in the day, because they, they laid that out in the treehouse, and even just before the treehouse, where uh, Theodora was a, a, a long friend, lifetime friend of theirs. Okay, so yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that one threw me off a little, I yep. think, just because I was so hyper-focused on the four kids in the house and the mom and the dad. Uh, you know, they, they brought up the mental illness thing with the mom, but they still didn't tell us, you know, what happened. Now they, you know, they, they brought up, you know, that she, that she took her own life. And yeah, you know, the thing that, that confuses me is like, I can understand a, a father taking their children out of a home and not wanting the children to see what happened mm -hmm. if the mother took their own life, but you wouldn't really feel the need to run. Right. Yeah. Unless, um, something. unless the mom was like in the act of doing something wild. And yeah. it looked like when, when he was running with the, with the kid, we saw like the mom moving something, something in the, in the moving. background. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, I'm guessing as we move forward, they're going to continue to build on the original story and there's going to continue to be development. Um, it was r rough watching, you know, the addict brother come out, stealing from the brother from what it looked like. He was going through some withdrawal symptoms and probably needed money um, for for more drugs. Although he said it's not what it looks like, but yeah, uh, who knows? Maybe. Yeah, it could be. You know, you, know, you, you hate to twist. just assume the worst, but um, you know, when when somebody's shaky like that and you know has a history of that, you know, sometimes that's. Let's what's keep fair in mind to, to piggyback off you. He did get his ninety day chip, so maybe it is something. Yeah, that was interesting yeah. that they got I like the how ninety they had day chip for you to think worse but maybe like you said yeah, it is but there else. was the point where they all like yeah, woke all, up yeah, and they showed they showed him waking up or waking up they showed him waking up as well so maybe um maybe it was something else i mean maybe he was trying to i don't know sell a camera a laptop to get a bus ticket to go somewhere else you know his other sister yeah. lived out in boston or maybe, maybe he, he wants to go, to, to, the go to the house maybe he wants to go to the house and destroy it i mean who knows that yeah so there's yeah. this is it was a, it was a good first episode i love you know what i love and 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 i took some criticism and i'll i'll own up to this when we did um when we did the conjuring about me being a little too like mm -hmm. You know, blah blah blah, with my you know criticisms of this, but this this feels like they're really developing the story, mm -hmm. and I feel like sometimes with with movies and television shows that that cover you know paranormal ish topics, sometimes they lean too much on jump scares and on things that are just visually creepy, like oh, there's a grandma you know with you know with no eyes crawling upside down on a ceiling, and it's like. Yep, that's visually it's creepy, scary, yeah. but it doesn't like it doesn't add substance to the story. And this story feels like it's uh, it's got a lot of substance and it really has the potential to go somewhere. Yeah, I mean, and that's a great point because for me, the the number one judge of starting a new show is how much does it suck me in, and am I excited for the next episode, or do I feel like I have to slog through a number of episodes to get to the point where I finally enjoy it? With this one, I feel right off the bat I'm enjoying it and can't wait to watch more. So with that being said, folks, we will see you on episode two. Sure. Oh, 
she was saying that before. What did she say? Oh, no. Remember they said Nell's gone? So yeah. what if that was at that moment? That could be. She was in the red room. The red room that they couldn't get the key to work for. Remember it had a red door? 303. Yep. That's dead time. Fingers were purple. She did have teeth, and she did not have hair. I don't want to see her again, especially like that. So I'm not going to look at her tomorrow, and I don't want to see her in the open castle. The open casket. <laughs> She's seeing Grandma like she just passed. I'm guessing your yeah. parents have talked to you about why you might be having these dreams. Didn't she pass er like but way back then? This is different. No, it's a different family. The, the family that in the first episode. Yeah. Oh, the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. It's so sorry. <laughs> I'm like so, so right. She works at the funeral home. This is the kids from the family. All right. Yeah, never mind. Thing about an open casket, and I know it sounds scary. It's a great chance to take all of those pictures in your head of grandma in the hospital or grandma without her hair or teeth or anything else in your imagination and cover it all up with a better picture. Better picture? That's right. Before she's ever even in the casket, I'm gonna fix her. That's what I do. How? I prefer to remember the time she was making cookies for me. First, mm -hmm. we give her a bath. Okay, make sure I she's really clean need to see this. Saw. Then we put special chemicals in so she stays fixed forever. Then we put her in her favorite clothes. And finally, I take extra special care to make sure she looks just like she's supposed to. So when I'm done, she will look just like she always did, just like you remember her, just like she's supposed to. You know what, seriously, props to all those people that can do that job. Yeah. Is that Hill House? No. Come here, take a look. Oh, I noticed they're in a different home. Mm -hmm. Which is my room. Mm, that's where you'll be. But on the second floor, this is the ground floor. When we finish fixing up this house... And sell it for a lot of money. You don't miss a thing, yes. Then we're going to build the forever house. And we won't have to move ever again. Moving sucks. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, it's never fun. Where'd you go? Nellie, I told you I'm too old for tea parties. Mommy, will you please have a tea party with me? Everyone keeps saying no. Aww. Sweetheart, I'd love to have a tea party with you. But I have to finish working, I'm afraid. <laughs> Another no. <laughs> Fortunately, it means it's time to come home. Okay, go have fun. Okay, now we're seeing the house yep. here. Do you know that princesses and queens and kings <laughs> had tea parties? It sounds like a well, kid thing. If I'm a kid, oh, I'm like, why do we have to leave here? This place is awesome. Yeah. Aside from the ghosts. So there's Theodora. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was wrong. She wasn't in a different house. She's been there the whole time. She's Good, just Luke? Uh huh. Home. Don't forget the rule. <laughs> Lights flash. Time to come home. Jesus, look at that place. Huge. So you got a He-Man there? What is that? Maybe. I think it is. Oh, oh. that's his friend that he was seeing, that he drew pictures I of. I appreciate your advice. I mean, I, I know you've worked this house for so long. You stay close now. Oh, Jesus. Uh, another question. That master key you had didn't work. You have any other ideas about that that red door upstairs? Right now, not 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 for that one. So can we take the door off the hinges? See what's in it. That's like, a weird reply to yeah. have. Just sorry about a door in your own home. We can't, can't open, open it. it. Right by the home. Yeah, I mean, back in the day, the families would have their their own graveyards right on their property. Well, we gonna see some. Oh, is she gonna see something in the picture when she develops it, or when you know it gets developed? Is there a noise coming from that yeah. shed? Is that like a a little mausoleum they call that, or? I mean, I don't know if they'd have a mausoleum next to a graveyard. Mm. Oh, cats! Cats! Oh, Aww. hi. Dave, you're a big cat guy. Where's your mommy? <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> she couldn't be far. She needs to feed you. But you're just the cutest little things. 
Oh, <laughs> damn it, they got me. I was like, they, what was she that? She saw something, though. It was a pile of, like, rags or something, I think. Mm, I don't know. It looked like another cat, like, made out of, like, dead fur. Yeah, see, it's like a face. It was like a bee's nest it face. Was, yeah, it was oh, a look at that. I think. You think it's empty? We've seen some. Probably dead. Come here, Cheryl. You got to see this. It's okay. It's okay. What the heck is that? It's a wasp nest. Wasp That's what I thought. See? Okay. Probably an old one. A very old. Ah, oh, there it is. They weren't plugged in all the way. <laughs> I haven't seen one like this. Though. Are we just going to ignore the front of it? Looked like a face. I don't blame you for screaming. Yeah. Ah, that's it around this. You know what that is? A mask. Yeah, a Halloween mask. Old one. You see? You carry? Nothing scary at all. Mr. Dudley, have you ever seen those dogs? Do you think they'd go after kittens? No dogs on the property. Well, sure there are. The kids have been hearing them at night. They've heard them every oh. night since we got here. I couldn't say. The missus and I, we don't stay on the property after dark. But... I've never seen dogs. It's almost Halloween. I need a costume I can wear to Austin's party. That's a craft project. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Mom. How's Tyson? He's worried. Okay, we went over it all it again. again. We're in the black, though. Very different style of forever house. Not very massive or anything, you know? I just wanted to drop these off, like we discussed. There's some jewelry in here, uh, some pictures of Mom, like you asked. I couldn't decide, so just... Just put a bunch in. Yeah, Thank you for you. dropping these by. They'll be really helpful. Is Max feeling better about tomorrow? That was awkward. Yeah, yeah. something got her there. Oh, who's, Wait, that? who's that? That's a ghost. What? Something from who's her that? Past. Something from her past. Gotta be. Any assist for him? I don't know. I lost track. You want me to bring this downstairs? Yes, please. I hate going downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame you. <laughs> we can still do this. We're going to split the cost. He needs to be here. It's fine. Without an insurance policy, it's... Oh, oh it's for the rehab. Oh, Did you steep. say 6000 a month? He had insurance. It would be in the ballpark of what we discussed on the phone. Yes, but if his policy is lapsed... Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, this isn't happening. And I can come back in two weeks... With some more, if I move some things around, that's fine. We can see how the first month goes. Dude, what a tough situation. <sighs> can I just send him someplace where they kick his ass a little bit? <laughs> I'm going to need a UA. What? You're an analysis. What if, what if they're still... It's okay if you're not clean. We just need to know how dirty. Oh, shit. Wish me luck. Oh, she's still wearing gloves then. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if this was like one of the last times everybody was together. He can do it. He's going to do it. That was six years ago when he just got his 90 days. So clearly, yeah. what a rough spot. Kevin Harris. Does he have his own checkbook? Is that what she found? I don't know. I kind of <laughs> like the Captain Lane mask. It's all yours. Where'd you get those, Allie? At the mall. <clears throat> Practically begged me. She has to be like a cool Aunt Theo. I didn't no, I fire today, Mom. Watch it, Captain Lame. Both of you. <laughs> they smell like cat piss. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> Solo account. His name's on the checkbook. So? So we only have joint accounts. I don't know that account. It was just in his briefcase. You're going through his briefcase? Looking at quarterlies, not like it was just there. It surprised me. Ask him. Find out what that's all about. He I'm probably sure nothing. doesn't I want, see want her spending a bunch of money on her brother. So he's probably been skimming money and moving it around. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. Should let your imagination get the best of you. That's the first step. Imagine the worst thing possible, assume it's true, and go from there. Makes sense because he brought that up, mm -hmm. you know, saying, hey, it's... How many times is it? Yeah, it's not special when it's happening all the time. Just enough and you drop a little on their nose because their eyes aren't open yet and they need to know it. And then when they open... Wow. Do you want to try it? Clear dog barking. Yeah. I don't even... Why are you banging on the wall? I, I'm not. You are. And calling my name. What do you want? Oh, there man. again. Banging on the wall to tell me about stupid dogs? Oh. 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 What is it? Oh, man. That's something big. 
Sounds like a giant cat. Or, or something being dragged, maybe? I don't know about you guys, but I'm not sitting around to find out what's going to happen. Hey, isn't that like the cabinet from The Conjuring 2? Or Conjuring? <laughs> Every creepy movie's got a, got a wardrobe. Yeah. Listen, there's nothing to be pipes. <laughs> pipes? <laughs> Listen, pops. It's over now, right? It's over. Hey. Oh. You saw that with Nell. Yeah. I told you she was in trouble. I told you to find her. I told you. I gotta go. Just hung up on his sister? Well, she was trying, trying to throw the guilt yeah, yeah, trying to blame him. Still, like, he worked through those things. Well, he might have needed just a time off from the conversation. Wake up. Found this upstairs. Decorated a little bit for her. Why? Well, because she was a very special cat. She deserves a special place to rest. Is she in there? Yeah. Oh, maybe this is where she got her fascination to be a mortician, maybe. Goodbye, little kitty. I hope you have a safe trip to heaven, and when you get there, there's some nice yummy milk waiting. And... She's alive. She's alive. Oh, moving. Yeah. Honey. Look, I know this is hard. She, she is. She is. She, she yeah, really is. Look, honey, look. I know that. Honey, I know this is hard. Oh, honey, 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 it's okay. Wait, wait a second. Hey, wake, wake up, little kitty. Yeah, see. Yeah. Oh. oh, it's a spider, dude. Uh, oh, oh it's a spider. It's just a bug. Uh, Does yeah. he even know that she's dead? No idea. If he doesn't, that's on him. He deserves to be here. You're not giving him time to get here. He missed her wedding. We're not going to let him miss her funeral, too. He has time, but I'm not leaving her in a freezer until Luke gets his shit together. So she was married? She'll be there yeah. forever. I'm... I gotta get to work. Cheryl. Jesus. Cheryl. Boy, talk about compartmentalizing. Yeah, like, she's not processing this very well. Oh. The funeral that they've been focusing on. Mm -hmm. If the kid doesn't want to, why are you gonna make him? Yeah, this is weird about this story. If you don't, you'll be upset later. I promise this is a good thing. You're a good boy. You can do this. Well, let's not forget some parents do kind of with you. The child to pay some last respects or yeah. at least have one last memory. It's gonna be okay, sure. I don't want to see yeah. her. Yeah. She's just a little scared, I think. Here. Come with me. Mm. Find that odd. Oh, it's the mom. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She, she was only refrigerated for a couple of hours, and then in, in transport, the level of, in the time it will take me to explain to you what to do with her, I could just do it myself. So I'm doing her myself. This is insane. Excuse us, please. I owe her this. This is too much for any. The hours, the bugs. I'm doing it, Kevin. Jesus. I'm gonna fix her. That's what this is about. Mm hmm. Her last chance to fix. Yep, her that was that was the line right there. <sighs> Jesus. So are we really gonna get the shot of her right now without? I gotta go. I'm sorry. Some, some of the I story. Just can't. Sure. You're going really slow with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think they're. Whip it out, you know. <laughs> but... All right, what are we gonna see here? Well, there's gonna be a reveal, right? I mean, there's got to be. They might just tease it. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that they would show us the end result before actually showing but what, I mean, like, what happened, the yeah. events. <clears throat> Whoa! Can I see the kittens? Sure thing. Just. Remember how I showed you. Are they still sleeping? Oh, no. All of them, you think? No, 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 that no. Is... Oh, oh, we got one. Oh, 
Whoa. What is that? Well, that's what's happening, Steve. I, is there oh, guilt care because how you get here? Remember the caretaker said, leave him there. The mom will come back. And when they're that young and their eyes haven't even opened. Yeah. You I and dad? I if there's guilt right. from that. We've been looking. Oh, they don't know where he went. Apparently he went out of a goddamn window. Steve, do you know what I'm doing right now? Oh, my God. Ugh. She's doing it herself. She Next. isn't. She's doing it herself. This kind of thing happens. Kittens aren't supposed to be without their mommies. Dude, the timeline jumping that we're going through right now. Yeah, it's, it's real crazy. Whew. It's like whiplash. Yeah. We, we couldn't let you try to take care of a pet who was so sick. You gave it to someone else. We, I don't believe you. I will say, this kid looks like the adult mm. actress. Yeah. <laughs> they did a good job in casting on this one. Yeah. It's not fair! Just, just, it's not fair! Stop it! Uh, uh. Oh, mom's going through some psychological issues. It happens at the worst possible moment. Any better? Hmm. Codeine's finally kicking in. Yeah, I think we're seeing what eventually drove the mom to Codeine. where she ended up. Mm, it's prescription medication. Yeah. I wish I'd been part of that conversation. Would you have said different? Probably not. We gave the cat to a... It's at a farm. It's at a farm. <laughs> Up north. You let her keep a box of diseased kittens in her bedroom. Yeah, probably and, not the and, best and now she's traumatized. Her first real brush with death, and now she's. And then I have one chance to pull it back, and I lie to her face and lock up with a migraine. Your first one was way off, dude. Psychological issues, which you said. <laughs> well, then I said migraine. <laughs> Figured it out. I know you're curious about her, but this part isn't for people to see. I can tell you everything I'm doing. Some other time. Right now, why don't you two go pick your favorite picture of Auntie Nell from one of the albums? Um, I, I can hang it at the funeral, okay? She handled that like a pro. <sighs> yeah, I she, guess. Yeah, she, handled Gosh. That, she handled that really well with well, those kids. You know, she is in that industry where she has to yeah. deal with that on a daily basis. Now that has to be hard. But how? I want to know the how. We got to get that. <laughs> I'm She's so excited. That's what I'm looking look for. Amazing. Just like the cat. <sighs> you really look amazing. You know what I mean. You look gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, they're completely leaving us hanging on what happened with her husband. Yeah. You know. Come in. Hey. Hey. Like the family's not being like, hey, did we talk to that guy? Yeah, do we you know, let him know? We didn't. We don't need a story about why they're not together. But well, anyway, I just wanted to say, break a leg, and if you make a run for it, I'll keep the car running. Okay. Okay. I assume this is her, her wedding. Yeah, it's her wedding yeah. day for sure. How lucky for us, a famous author at your wedding. Yeah, because we saw the pictures. From oh, the photo album. yeah. You promised. Not another bring it word. Up. I promise. <sighs> Oh, is this going to be the brother? Yep. Luke? Luke. What is it? Nothing. I should be right back to finish up. Now, remember, Which she's, oh, she's going to put missed it. So yeah. it was her fault. She's going to put him in it. the cab he, and he's, send He's probably away. all high or something. Hey, I, I didn't know if this was the... Hell, what? Hold on. What? Hey, I'm yeah. fine. I'm fine. I just wanted to make sure that I got to tell her that I was happy. Look at me. What? Look at me. Yeah, he can't do it. You're not smearing your shit all over her day, Luke. Sure. You're not. I'm level. I just, I just really want to be here for her. You should have thought about that before you put the needle in your arm. She is not pulling no, punches, dude. Not. Here's a hundred. You can shoot up the rest. I don't care. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, she's done with it. No more loans. No more treatment centers. Nothing. The store's closed. I'm done. That was Brad's made stuff. Oh, is everything okay? God. Everything's perfect. She yeah, goes perfect wedding, Nelly. She remembers doing the makeup at her wedding to doing it now after she's passed. You this sorry? whole story is just tough, man. What am I hearing? Yeah, what is that? It's gonna be something about the from the kittens. Yep. Yep. That bug. Can't be real though. No. no. You fixed her. Oh, that's this is where it came from. Mm -hmm. No, that's what I do. 
Oh well, gosh, how did it end with the mom now? Yeah. And that's where that word come, uh, mm-hmm. that phrase came from earlier. Yep. yep. I need to fix her. Sure. You fixed her. Uh oh. Whoa. Is that two Uber? I, no, I think that's her mom. She's seeing. Oh, it is. Okay, this is really super messed up. There's the eyes. Yep. What the? Oh, it's the box the cat the was in. Oh, I, did. <laughs> I was ready for that one. That's where Nell is from. You on Netflix. This is the second season of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't see it. Second and third seasons. They're showing that house there a little bit. Yeah, I think it's a pretty drastic difference between what now her they mom's, focused on it. Her mom's the two when the, porch light flashes. Yeah, well, when the lights come on, you go. You, you come, come home. Yeah. You yeah. got to come home. Oh, ah. there it is. Oh, what a what a tease. Nice. All right, Jeez. that was episode two of The Haunting of Hill House. And just right off the bat, and I don't know if all the other episodes are going to be like this because it, it is a bit of a, you know, a, a horror series with scares and everything, but it almost feels like the fact that it's a scary show is like second or third down the list to we're just exploring these people and these characters and getting to know their lives and what they've gone through. I mean, at least this episode anyway, it didn't really focus, I don't think, as much on the house and the scariness of it. We're developing our characters, which I absolutely love because I said in the first one that I was having trouble uh, kind of piecing together who the cast was. It's very clear at this point, and they did an excellent job with the second episode of diving into more to who the people were and i guess they probably had to to jump off the bat with the first one with some good scares and and some you know some things about the house and some creepy images you know they had to show that but in this one we really got to know a lot about you know luke he was he came to the wedding but she gave him the boot because he was he was high as a kite and she didn't want him there to ruin the wedding Uh, we really dove a lot more into that so that was really good to see i like that and like i said i don't know if they're all going to be like this where the scariness is like second or third down the list and it's going to be about the people but that always makes it really interesting uh when they do stuff like that when you become more uh, all about the characters more so than you know just being scared or creepy images or whatever it might be yeah so in this episode my takeaway was that we got the perspective from the older sister more in this one Mm -hmm. so we got to see as they mentioned, they did a lot of setting up and then a little bit of the payoffs here and towards the back end, which was great. A- AKA there, uh, Luke, you know, she mentioned that he missed the wedding and we got to see why. Yep. Uh, again, like I said in the last one, they're just, they're pulling back the layers each episode, so are, get, yep. just diving us in each, each to each character even more. And uh, like you said, I don't even think we saw the house once in this one, which is fine by me because we got to get a little bit more uh, invested into the characters that are presented here. Yeah, I mean, we didn't see the scary version of the house, right? Scary version of the house. We saw the old version version. they're living and the kittens and everything. Like the daylight, ah, big house, right? Like, oh, it's just awesome. Yeah, so uh, also, the again, uh, I'm going to show my impatience here now. I I, want to see the... Uh, the house, like the mom, the sister. I, I'm really surprised for me personally that they showed us the sister this early mm. with the, the with her the end version of her anyway. I didn't expect that episode two, to be honest. I thought we were still going to get a lot more build up, which we are clearly uh, yeah. of of what up led led up to those events. So uh, again, I lo- I really like this one because again the uh, the layers keep pulling back. We got the sis- older sister perspective and. They keep me hanging on because I want to just see what happened to the sister and mom. You know, th- this episode leads me to wonder if the uh, upcoming episodes are going to kind of focus one by one on each sibling and what their individual relationship was with the house was, things that happened there. 
and how that affected them later in life. I mean, for, for me, I shouldn't say for me, it was a very, a very clear theme of the episode was showing how the sister, um, her relationship with, with death and people's passing and how she looks at that. You know, she was there for, you know, her sister's wedding day, one of the biggest days of your life, and she was gonna be there for the final time fixing her. Um, so everybody processes death uh, different and, and, and there's no real right or, or wrong way. And I found it interesting, like everybody was saying in the beginning, including us, like, oh man, there's no way she's going to do this. You know, like even, even, uh, you know, the, the brother talking to the, the, uh, the ex-wife or, or they're, they're split. I shouldn't say ex-wife and nobody can believe it. And her husband's saying, don't do it, you know, and, and the other, you know, so everybody's saying, don't do it. And she's adamant about it. And that's her way of, of processing death and it's I think you know some people are real passive about it right mm -hmm. I think some people are very passive with death and it's you know for some people it's just a, another step in a, in a in a much bigger journey and some people you know uh, again process it in ways that we you know others might have a really hard time understanding and I think that's what this show was showing is like look this is how she processes death um, but she had a very unusual early start now I, I you know i shouldn't say unusual i think there's a lot of us whether it be you know losing a pet like um like a cat or a dog to old age or maybe to an accident at, at a youngish age i think there's a lot of people that have had that experience uh, as far as you know having a, a kitten or a puppy that dies at a very young age that's difficult as well but I think this might weigh on her more because she took the kittens away thinking that she could protect them and take care of them. You know, they, they said, oh, she brought in a box of diseased kittens. Look at that age. They're really, really vulnerable. Yeah. And if they're not under veterinary care, you know, she's trying to feed them milk through yeah, put, could put milk on their nose. And I mean, you really you really don't know. So the kittens, obviously, they all passed. They would have been better off if she just left them in the box and where they were at. I mean, that's where the, that's where they were born. So, um, uh, again, a very interesting episode. I like that this isn't like your typical, like it, it doesn't even feel like a horror show to me. Yeah, no, it feels more, certainly not. This it episode. feels more like a psychological, I don't even want to say thriller because it's not like, uh, you know, on the edge of your seats, very psychological show, very suspenseful. Um, but the, the story, already just two episodes in has a lot more depth than a lot of you know horror movies of right. this type that we've seen uh, i just want to kind of add uh to this episode too you got me thinking with this episode they made it intentional to make it unsettling because i know you kind of winced a little bit it was a, it was a there, there was a few scenes that were a, i'm going to be honest were a bit much for me and i think mm -hmm. you can tell the same story without showing some of what they showed so i'm on the opposite i'm actually kind of uh, I'm glad they did uh, show it because uh, one, I think they wanted to invoke that kind of emotion. Uh, <laughs> they, they got what they were looking for. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, again, they did their intent. I, I felt it through the writing and the showing there that they were trying to make it unsettling. They let a lot of stuff uh, uh, have some time to breathe yeah, on that. Did. And it was, yep. I personally thought it was great. Uh, and then also too, uh, back to what you were saying with, uh, you know, the, the sister said, I, I have to fix her. I think it's almost best that she did it for yeah, because it would, of their bond. It would never be up sister. to her standards. Right. And it, she mentioned that, that the other uh, morticians weren't capable or she didn't think they were. Yeah. And it just, to me, it shows how much she, she still cared. Not that she never didn't, but uh, even in the end, she wants her still looking perfect. So yeah, kind of a nobody's going to do it but me sort of thing. And, and, and like I said, what makes, I can tell after two episodes what makes this show different is the character development is the layers that you know both oak and uh diamond dave talked about because if it was just a one trick pony <laughs> hey we go into a scary house there's an axe murderer or something you know it's like okay that gets old after a while and then you start to kind of laugh it off a little. so far into two episodes yeah. in i haven't seen a single cliche thing in this episode and it's very unique it's not yep. like this that you know, I don't I haven't watched any of it yet and been like oh this reminds me of this or the, oh this is just like this show it's like it's it's very unique and it's not cliche at all and I think uh two episodes in what is this eight or ten I think it's ten, ten. okay yeah. so ten episodes so it's, man we're you know, 20 percent in already yeah. and uh obviously there's a lot more to go but this is a show that I'm I'm really into um Dave I think you're exactly right I think they throw stuff in knowing it's gonna make like 
you know, I'm pulling the organs out of my sister. I mean, like for me, her sister. That's a little bit much. That look, you could have implied that she was stitching the the hair on the scalp. Yeah, you know, I don't need to go over it too much. But I think you know, Dave, you're right that the writers were like, let's let's make this impactful, and it worked. Mm -hmm. Make them feel it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, that was episode two of The Haunting of Hill House. That's the Appleton Oak. This is Diamond Dave. I'm Mason Quinn. We're going to see you guys on the next one.